Hey guys, Monster Matt here. Sorry for the late upload, I had some business to attend to this morning, so I'm a little bit behind schedule. I hope you all enjoyed the finale of Dark Souls yesterday, and I realize now I completely forgot about the DLC areas. Crap. <laughs> Maybe I should go back and do this at some point. Um, anyway, what I want to talk about today is an issue that's been hitting pretty close to home these past few weeks. It's not a fun topic, it's about depression. It's... Not really something I've been keen to talk about with anyone, at least outside of those I'm, you know, particularly close to. Uh, I guess that's mostly because it always felt like talking about it was too emo or edgy and that I was just whining. And I think I need to kind of get around that. And I think those that have any kind of experience with these sorts of issues, like depression, anxiety, and, you know, and those kind of situations, will know what I mean. Like, it's, it's, it's hard to talk about sometimes, because they feel like the people that they want to talk to about it won't understand. And that's certainly true, because that, that, that happens sometimes. Um, a lot of people take one look at you and just go, yeah, but you still have your health, or, or, or you know, you look fine, and they dismiss that problem that you're trying so hard to get across to them as just being all in your head, that, you know, and, and like, I've, I've heard several times, you know, you just need to put on your big boy pants and get on with, with whatever it is you're doing, and, and, I mean, yeah, it is in my head, but that doesn't mean it's not a big deal. These, these issues come from real places, these emotions are genuine feelings, you know, because nothing is just anything when you feel like your life doesn't matter, or you're being being slowly crushed beneath the weight of all the things on your mind, you know, you know, people who have uh, anxiety can certainly relate to that. And I've seen people have bad anxiety attacks, and it, it is it is very debilitating. I've seen it. It's you know, it's rough stuff. And you you can't tell me that a state of being that makes suicide an appealing escape route is just anything. I mean, I mean, it, it's too easy to just dismiss this stuff, you know. And I wish I could be like Markiplier or, or uh, Jacksepticeye or any of these other great YouTubers, you know, who, who inspire so many people. I've seen so many comments, on, you know, because I'm, 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 I'm a fan of theirs as well, and I've seen so many comments thanking them for, for, for giving people who suffer from, you know, depression and anxiety, you know, these, 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 these rays of hope, and it's so, so fantastic. But unfortunately, I'm not like them. I'm one of those struggling with these feelings because, you know, um... If you recall, uh, a, a, a few weeks back in a Dark Souls video, I mentioned I was going to college. I even put up uh, an update about it, which I believe I have taken down because it was no longer true. Um, I got into college, and I'd intended, you know, I, I, I went into it with, with, with every intention of succeeding, with every intention of seeing it the whole way through. And, the, in, and, and honestly, the material I was dealing with, at least initially, really wasn't that bad. But I just, you know, I, I, I've been putting my... my, my you know, my own uh, issues aside for so long that I, I guess I just thought they were gone and, I, and, and I'd been trying to ignore them, but, they, but it, it didn't solve the problem. Um, so I, I decided that, that the program just wasn't a good fit for me. And I wanted to 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 change to a different one, and 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 I and I may still go back because college is still you know a a a, a very uh, good route to take. You know your, your your education is 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 always important, but um, you know it just wasn't really working me right there because I, I was getting it, it felt how how best to explain it. It just it, just. Just trying to focus was impossible for me. I, I was so scattered and so panicked and so just just feeling down on myself that I could not get the simplest thing into my head, and and it, it was the worst feeling because it, it just it felt like I just needed to escape. I just needed to 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 get away. And and when you feel that so so powerfully, so so intensely that you consider hurting yourself to get away from your problems, you know something. You know like that. That's not a minor thing, you know. You need to you need to talk about these things and remember the things you do have. You know, your 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 friends and your family who who, who love you and, and want to see you okay, and that's more important than anything else. You know, because <clears throat> like I had a lot of smiles and reassurances, and 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 I got to feel like I like 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 my 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 family was proud of me, and that's why I felt so good. And then all of a sudden, it would just it just crumbled, and it was it was bad. Um, because, you know, I, 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 I admit it that, like, deep down, I don't think my life is worth anything. And that's a terrible thing to say and a terrible truth to admit. Um, and that's definitely nothing I wanted to ever have to say. Because no one wants to be able to j j just, like, you know, to... to no one wants to look at the people that love them and say, I'm sorry, I don't feel like I deserve to live. I don't feel like I deserve happiness because I don't think my life is worth anything. 
you know, because whenever you say that, you hurt them more than you hurt. Because, because to you, it's just a fact. It's something that you believe. It's something that you've felt probably for a long time. But see, but but telling other people and seeing the hurt it causes them—that's the worst part. And I and and it it, it always kills me. You know, it, it, the last few weeks have been very hard because I've had to have some very uncomfortable conversations with people that I don't want to hurt. And it's it's rough. And you know, but the thing is, the thing I've realized is, you need to. You need to have these conversations because otherwise you can never get the support you need and you need that support sometimes. And it's okay because if you don't get that support and you don't get that help and that love and, 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 and in some cases um, th that uh, professional help in case that's what's necessary because, you know, again, there's, there's, there, there's no shame in that. If you don't get it and you try to do these things and you crumble like I did, which happens, you know, all you're doing is reinforcing that bad stuff in your head, saying to yourself, oh, I did fail. Oh, I, I did let people down. And it just makes it worse. And you need to address those issues moving forward. So I, I guess what I'm saying is I'm just I, I, I implore each and every one of you who have these issues or, or these problems, you know, whether you're fortunate enough to, to, to have close friends and family or if you're on your own, seek out that help because you're worth it. You might not feel like you are right this moment. You might, you know, think that you're 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 letting people down and all that. Trust me, I know what that feels like. You might not believe it right now, but you are worth it and you need to go and find that help and and and, and find those people who care about you and and let them help you. And I know it'll be hard. You know, there the, there there is no on-off switch for these things. As much as as much as I wish there was, as much as everyone else who who deals with these issues wishes there was, you can't just flick it off. You can't just you know, it, it it's not gonna go away. You know, you have to work through it. And I I mean, I, I'm just starting that process. I don't know how it's gonna work out. I I hope it'll work out fine. I'm 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 hopeful, but I don't know. Um, sorry, I have a bit of a sinus infection. <coughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, that was kind of dark. But hey, I'll be back to putting myself through the ringer next week with Dead Cells, because I do not currently have Dark Souls 2. I'm working on it. But if you have anything to add to this video, feel feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm, I'm, I'm always open to your guys' thoughts and opinions. Thank you all so much for watching, and for now, Monster Matt out.